Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you um, a painting that was done with a palette knife instead of brushes. In actual fact, I did three paintings and um, I forgot to turn on the um, video for one. So then I tried it a second time and then I had a lot of paint left over so I tried it a third time. They each look a little different, but I enjoyed doing all of them and I hope you enjoyed the video as well. And um, Please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, that helps my channel grow. And thank you very much for watching. Because I'm using an impasto technique, I'm mixing my paints with a gel medium. And here are all my paint colours, all the colours of the sea, or tropical sea, and sand, and I mixed ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson to give my cloud shadow colour. I started off with a 12 by 9 canvas panel and I put my horizon line on with um, some masking tape. For this painting I'm using a fairly large um, knife with a rounded tip and I roll the paint onto the back of my uh, knife and then I can easily spread it. Sometimes I use a smaller knife as a scraper tool. I start off with the sky as I usually do in um, any painting with brushes. Next I'm loading my knife with um, titanium white all my paints, as I said, have um, the medium gel medium mixed in. And I put in my clouds. I'm calling this style of painting abstract expressionist. There's very little detail in it. The paint is um, layered on with a knife and it, that doesn't give room for details. Although I will say, after it dries, if you want to put, say, uh, birds on the foreshore or against the clouds, that's very easy to do and if I do anything like that, I do it with a um, paint pen. I drag my knife across the canvas and it gives a nice um, scumbled effect. Um, I don't want this painting to look too smooth. I want there to be a lot of thickness to the paint. This style of painting is very fun, very relaxing to do. Um, no pressure to get things right or exact. For the water that's more distant, I'll use darker blues and darker greens. And then as I get closer to the foreshore, then I'll add the yellow green paler blues, paler aqua blues. Uh, water does look more green as it gets closer to us. It's a bit like um, spreading butter on toast and always, because I'm doing water, always horizontal.
I keep strengthening that horizon line because um, I tend to lose it a little bit and it must be straight. Um, when you're painting water, that horizon line isn't straight. The water looks strange. I'm putting the sandy foreshore in with um, Naples yellow. I love that colour. Um, to me, you don't have to do anything to it. You can take it straight out of the tube and it will look like sand. I am laying it in over the top of other colours, um, the greens and the um, pale blues. So it, that will bring it down a little bit. trying to give the impression of sailboats. I'm not putting any detail into it. I'm just picking up a tiny amount of titanium white on the very tip of my palette knife and just sort of jabbing it into place. It's, um, like I say, just an impression. I'm using straight titanium white to indicate the surf. Um, surf casts a shadow and I'll probably go in with um, some pale blue just to indicate that shadow. But I don't want to get too realistic with this painting. Um, I am thinking of it as an abstract. And I don't want to put too much detail into it. I'd like the whole thing to be done with the knife rather than add um, brushwork anywhere. Well that's it really. Um, this is the second painting that I did after I forgot to um, turn the camera on for the first one. And um, then I had quite a lot of paint left on my palette so I decided to um, do a third one. I think all three took me under 30 minutes to do. It's a very quick fun way of painting. Here's the last one I did. I think of it as a headland. A bay, maybe. Something like that. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It's all free to you and it helps my channel grow. It helps the algorithm find me from the thousands of videos which are uploaded every day. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.